Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. In this video, you'll see how to design this model in few minutes using FreeCAD. First, let's go to FreeCAD, create a new document, and now switch to the part design workbench. Here, what we'll do is to use this tool here, Adif Cylinder, to create these, these cylinders here, as you can see. So let's do that. First, we go to this icon here and we select Adif Cylinder. Okay, and now press home in your keyboard and first here we'll set attachment of the cylinder. So we'll select XZ plane. Okay, and then we'll change the rates and date of the cylinder. Let's go to the string page. Here we can see these dimensions. So for the cylinder here, we'll set a diameter of 20 and height of 56. So you will set 10 and here we'll change to 56 and then OK. And now press home and select the cylinder again. OK, and now select this face here. And we'll change the diameter of the cylinder to 40 and we'll set a height of 4 millimeters. We'll set 20 here and here we'll set 4 and OK. Now we have this and select the active cylinder again. Now select this face here and we'll change the radius here to the half of 24. We'll set 12 here. And the height of the cylinder will be 2.5 millimeters. Okay, and now just click OK. And now we have this as you can see. And now it's time to create this cylinder here. So what you do, we select Active Cylinder again, clicking this tool. Okay, but now we'll set XY plane for this cylinder. Okay, and now change to the right view, clicking this icon. And first here, what we'll do is to reverse the duration of this cylinder. Scroll down here and check this option. Okay, and next we'll set a range of 10 for the cylinder here. Here we have a diameter of 20, and the height of these will be 20. Let's set 20 here. And now what we'll do is to change the placement of the cylinder in the Y duration. So what you do, scroll down and go to the Y duration. Here we'll change to minus 20. Okay, and now scroll up and click OK. Yes, now as you can see, we have these all cylinders here. And next here, what we'll do is to create these fillets here with these ridges here, 2.5. So what you do, now we select this edge here and you go to the fillet tool. First here, we'll change the ridge to 2.5 millimeters and then click on the select button and let's select these all edges. Okay, select these two edges and now preview. And as you can see, you don't have the fillet. Let's click OK. And as you can see, we have this import error here. So close this dialog and delete this edge here. Select this edge and delete. And now click OK. And now what you do, we select this edge here, only this edge, and we select fillet tool, and we change the ridge here to 2.5 millimeters and OK. Now as you can see we have the fillet here, so it's OK now. And now what we'll do is to create these three roads here and these cylinders. Click here and select first as workbench. Okay, and now go to these tools here and click in this icon, 3D root. Click here and again, and let's go to the model tab. As you can see here, we have two 3D roots in the, in the review. So now what to do, we close this body here and now Let's go to this drawing page. As you can see here, we have these two 3D roots with the same reference M20 and M20 and the same height. Okay, so what you'll do, you'll select these two 3D roots here 
and we'll change the diameter here to M20. We'll select this reference M20 here. And now what you do, we'll change the length here to 10 millimeters. Okay, and now we'll change the tab to script tip. Okay, and refresh. Okay, now as you can see, we have these two 3D roots here. And let's make the it visible. Here, change to true and refresh. Okay, now as you can see, we have these threads here. Okay, and the next step now is to set the correct placement of these two 3D roots. So, what you do now, first let's select these first 3D root here. And now hold control and select this circular edge. Okay, and click in this icon. Okay, now as you can see we have we have the three dot root here, and now we need to reverse the direction of these three dot root. So what we do, we click in this icon, and as you can see, now we have these three dot root in the correct placement. Okay, and now we select these three dot root here and Control and select this circular edge here and click in this icon and now reverse duration. Okay, and we have these now. Okay, and next what we'll do is to make a union of these three parts. Okay, so we'll change to the part workbench. Okay, and now we'll select these three objects here and we'll select union two. Okay, and now as you can see, we have this part here, fusion. Okay, and the next thing to do now is to create this hole. This hole here, change, we'll change the workbench to part design. And next, we'll create a new body. Click on this icon and we'll create a new sketch. And for this sketch here, we'll select YZ plane. Double click here. And now switch to decision view. Okay, and go to sky geometry and select polyline tool, this tool here, and draw this horizontal line and this vertical line. And next here we'll set the size of these lines here and the placement of this sketch. So now select constraint distance tool. Okay, we'll start by this distance here, select this origin point and then this end point here. The distance here will be 20. Okay, and the length of this line here will set this distance here. Okay, and for this line here, what you'll do, you can see 10, 2.54, and 56, and 20 here. So, what you'll do here is to place this formula. Okay, and the dimension here is 52.5 millimeters. So now we'll leave the sketch, press home, and now let's hide this part here. Select, okay, go to the model tip and select the fusion here and spacebar to hide the part. And now le let's create a new sketch. This sketch here in X plane. Select cycle tool, click in this origin point, enter the cycle, and now select constraint cycle. And the diameter of the cycle here will set this diameter here 12. We'll set 12 here and escape two times to leave the sketch. And next here we'll change the attachment of this cylinder sketch here. So first we'll go to the model tip and then we'll select the sketch here and then click on mouse and select the attachment editor. And next select this select this line here. And okay. And now select the sketch and go to add if pipe tool. Click in this button and select this sketch. Okay. And here we need to change the corner transition. So click here and select print corner. Okay, now as you can see, we have this. So click OK. Okay, and next here, we'll create this. We'll create cylinders for this hole here, these two holes. So what you do, 
you go to Active Tools of Part Design and you select Active Cylinder. Select this face here for the cylinder and now we'll change to the right view. And first here we'll change the duration of the cylinder. So we'll check this option here. And next we'll change the radius of the cylinder to here we have a demo of 14. So we'll set 7 here. And the height of this hole will be 3. OK, now click OK and select that the cylinder again. OK, and now select this face here. And to center this cylinder here in this face, what we do, we need to change the attachment mode here to initial CS. OK, and now we'll change the radius here to 7 and the height to 3 and OK. OK, now we have this part here and now let's change to the part workbench okay and let's hide this let's make this fusion part visible spacebar as you can see we have two parts here and we need to subtract this part here from this fusion so let's do that first here we'll select this fusion part and then the body and we'll select cut to okay and as you can see now we have this hole okay so this is the final part thank you for watching this video if you found this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends and if you can support the channel with a donation i really appreciate it to support the channel simply access the first link in the description of this video Thank you all for watching this video.